Here is why zero factorial is traditionally defined as one, even though it may seem confusing. Well, what even is a factorial? Now, a factorial is written with this exclamation mark, and it represents all the numbers multiplied of n. So n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way down to 1. So you're essentially multiplying every single number before n until you reach 1. Now, here's an example of how we would find a factorial. So 5 factorial would just be all the numbers before 5 multiplied together. So it would look like this. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And note that this is only true for positive integers. Then we could just multiply it out. And that would just be 120. So 5 factorial equals 120. Now that we know what factorials are, here is a list of decreasing factorials. So we know that 5 factorials, we just did that. It's 120. 4 factorial is 24. 3 factorial is 6. 2 factorial is 2. 1 factorial is 1. And we're going to find out why 0 factorial is 0. So what do we notice about this right here? From 120 to 24, you just have to divide 120 by 5. Now, what do we have to do to 24 to get it to 6? We just divide it by 4. Are you noticing a pattern here? Now we could just apply this for all the other ones. So 6 divided by 3 is 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now, what do you think we're going to do here? Where we're going to divide it by 1 because that's what that's what the pattern continues. So let's just do that. Now, what is 1 divided by 1? Well, obviously, it's just 1. And that's why 0 factorial equals 1. God bless.